This week we're going to emphasize defending your balance sheet because as we tape here on Tuesday morning, the market remains exceptionally volatile. We're going to highlight the importance of defending not only your 2022 projected soybean production, but also it's not too early to look ahead to 2023. We're also going to take a look at the latest crop conditions and progress across the U.S. and wrap things up with the latest weather trends. Hi, this is Brian Bastine with Advanced Trading. Let's talk about the soybean market. Well, as we tape here on Tuesday morning, the soybean market remains historically volatile. As a result, we think this is a good time to re-emphasize the importance of defending your balance sheet. So we're going to start out this week looking at trends in November soybean futures. Now, November soybean futures near $14.70 for 2022 is $5 above the five-year average. But there's also something to think ahead to. As we look at 2023, November futures are trading near $13.90. And here's a key point. It's still more than six months away before the crop insurance price is set for next year. We strongly encourage you to work closely with your trusted risk management advisor to manage not only your projected 2022 crop production, but also look ahead to 2023. Let's look at our crop condition map here. As, as usual here, our red circles depict deterioration, our green circles depict improvement, and our yellow circles indicate no change. We did see a one percentage point drop in good to excellent from 58 to 57 percent last week. That's still 1 percent above last year. As you look at the map, most of the decline was seen uh, Illinois west. Uh, we did see some decline, though, in parts of that to Delta region, and we'll highlight the importance of that in a moment. We did see some improvement, however, in, in states such as Wisconsin as well as Indiana. Let's now look at our aggregate crop condition index. It's at a season low now for 2022, although it's fractionally above where it was at this time of year in both 2019 and 2021. Now, as you look at crop progress here, soybean setting pods in this last 10 days of August, we're looking at 84% of the crop is setting pods. Uh, over the next two weeks, uh, looking at, uh, into Labor Day, the last 10 to 15 percent of the crop will likely set pods here. Now, that still means weather is important as we move, move into this final week of August as well as the first week of September. Now let's briefly look at trends in, in soybean yields here. And the reason we highlight that this week is USDA is starting to conduct its survey for the September 12th crop production report. What we did with this chart is look at the change in, in the soybean yield national uh, from July to August. That's depicted by the blue bar. And then the final compared to what it was in August. Highlighted three years here. In 2011, we did see that uh, yield decline from what it was in, from, uh, in July to August. We did see it also decline a bit here in uh, 2012. But both those years, though, the final yield was higher. Now, look at some other years, though. Look at years like 2015, 2016, uh, 17, 18, and 20. Each of those years, we saw the yield actually increased from July to August. Here's the key message. That's what we saw this year, the increase in yield, similar to, again, what we saw in 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, as well as 20. But look at the change from August to final. In some of those years, we did see a final yield that was higher, for example, in 15 and 16. Some of those years, though, we saw the final yield lower, 17, 18, and 20. The key message is yield is unpredictable. Focus on managing risk. Let's wrap things up this week looking at trends in weather. Our slides this week, as usual, are courtesy of T-Storm Weather. Now, still very important for beans as we go through pod set and pod fill here that weather, uh, looking at the next few days to Friday of this week, some light precip moving in from the northwest, maybe a two or three tenths inch of rain, not a heavy amount. But look at that far southern area. That's the area that's harvesting beans or will harvest them very shortly. Louisiana, Mississippi, some very heavy rainfall down there that could uh, really uh, result in some quality issues for those beans and delay harvest. The next major event here is Saturday through Wednesday, the 27th through the 31st. About a half inch in that light, light green area, the heaviest amounts in terms of amounts of coverage in the pink area. Over the next two weeks now, we're looking at, on average, quite a bit of the country will be normal, except for that far southern area will be above normal. So uh, overall, the, the conditions across the Midwest look promising for beans in terms of moisture the next couple weeks. 
Now, if you'd like more information, please feel free to contact us at 800-664-2321. We'll put you in contact with one of our risk management consultants who will be happy to visit with you at your convenience. And remember, we upload every Wednesday. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and never miss an upload. Thanks a lot. Have a good week.